Hello Taurus, we're getting ready to do your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Taurus. Let's look at your energy in the recent past, Taurus. Let's look and see, look at that, the Death card. So you have had an ending of some sort, some sort of transformation is taking place. You're very optimistic though, look at those beautiful flowers emanating, growing all around you. You have closed out a cycle. You are really ready to move forward. You've been very successful in your journey. You've made some very deliberate choices. You have really decided to follow the path of your heart, Taurus. You're really being very honest with yourself. The Five of Wands is also telling me that the way you're viewing the future is that you have different options. You're going to kind of let nature take its course. You're going to choose whatever path looks like it's the uh, most opportune. You're going to sort of let people sort themselves out in your love life. You're going to let people compete for your attention at this time. The way you view the world is that <laughs> the way that you view the world is that you need to open up your feelings more. You really feel as though you've done a lot for other people and that you've always kept your feelings sort of under wraps and that you need to be more open. That in the future, if you want what you want, that you need to be more verbal about your emotions, you know, to share them with others more. Scorpionic energy, you may have been dealing with a Scorpio and the Aquarius as well as Leo energy. In your heart space, Taurus, you want to invest in a relationship of significance. Seven of Pentacles is your energy. It really speaks to the fact that you just don't want anything that in which you would be forced to compete with other people. I feel like in the recent past also that you had someone who didn't share their feelings with you and you felt as though you had to compete for their attention. So, you know, you're just really flipping the switch on this person. I don't see you very content with them at all and it looks like you've had a breakup. The Two of Cups is how you see the future. The future and what's going to happen in your love life is you're going for the gold. The Two of Cups energy says that you do have someone coming in who's a soulmate, somebody who loves you very much or will love you very much, somebody with whom you may marry. What is hidden in the energy at this time is the Fool card, a new beginning. So what is hidden here also is an alligator underneath the surface. Um, what's really important is for you to know that as you move forward in your love life that there are lots of people who will not divulge the truth of themselves so I would be very careful it does say that you will enter uh, dating again with a very very um, wary eye uh, keeping your eyes wide open you know, trying to be, trying to see beneath the surface is what's hidden in your energy. That you're not going to take what people appear to be on the surface as necessarily the truth. What is the advice from Spirit? We have the Ace of Swords. Stay clear. Be willing. You have the key. You have everything you need to succeed in your love life at this time, Taurus. The Two of Swords says that you're watching somebody covertly. You're not letting them know that you're watching them, that you are paying very close attention. So we're going to clarify these cards and see what's going on here. So why do we have the death card in the past, Taurus? What has ended? Show us what has ended here for our Taurus friends in love. Taurus, oh my gosh. Taurus, why are you in your own reading as a death card? So you ended something. You decided something was not meeting the criteria that you have for a love relationship. What was that? Taurus, I love that. The Ace of Coins. You didn't feel like you had an offer from a person that you wanted. You didn't feel like the offer was good enough. Tell us about this offer. Nine of Cups. Eat, drink, be merry. This person that you were dealing with only wanted to have fun. Just Girls just want to have fun. The song that comes to mind. <clears throat> but I'm seeing that that's not good enough for you. You want to you want to have a relationship in which to invest. You did know intuitively that this person would not be the forever person. You have a lot of peacefulness with that. You're good with that energy. You're happy with it. 
you know, you know that in your heart space, you want an emperor. You want somebody who is a divine counterpart, somebody who knows what they want, somebody who's serious and somebody that you love and that loves you back. The Five of Wands, the people competing for you. Tell us about the people who are competing for you at this time. <clears throat> Ten of Cups, ooh, somebody that you are possibly dating in the near future is very like-minded. The Ten of Cups is coming up. This person wants the same thing. Ten of Cups is a happily ever after marriage. It often includes family, extended family, children, but it's really about the joy of living in the moment, the, the absolute really considering it precious. So you have somebody who's on the same page with you coming in. Tell us about what Taurus is going to do. Taurus, you're just going to be your strong, significant self. You're going to move towards this person when they move with you. You will work in tandem with them. It really shows that you have the ability to love very deeply, to be very loyal. We know that about you. You're also ruled by the planet Venus, the planet of love. So you have fire in your belly for someone, especially when they can open up to you. The Six of Swords says that you are in a healing mode from what happened in the past. It shows that you're moving forward. Some of you may move physically at this time. Uh, some of you may move to a warmer climate. Others of you by the water. Who is the Two of Cups here for you, Taurus? Who is this person coming in? Somebody who is going to be very generous with you. No breadcrumbing here. You, are, you want somebody who's in it to win it, who's about equal give and take, not somebody who's looking for the easy way out or a handout. You are definitely putting an end to that. You have cut that out of your life. If somebody is going to breadcrumb, you're not having it. You're not going to do it. That's not the energy that you want. You want someone who really brings it all to the table. So what we see here, Taurus, is a brand new beginning. So we have a brand new beginning with somebody that's very passionate, somebody you didn't expect to meet. There's almost like a real serendipity. However you meet or you've met this person is something that could be once in a lifetime. Two lives crossing paths out of the blue, a total shock, a complete surprise. The tower card can be very good, and here you go. <gasps> Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, that's Virgo energy. It's a relationship that speaks to legacy. It's where there's abundance. It's your ancestors have brought this beautiful gift to you. This person that's coming in wants happily ever after. The Ten of Coins energy. This person may be a Cancerian. They could be an Aries, but they have the power to love you. And it looks as though you might have just met this person. The Ace of Swords, this person may have children, but they're very communicative. This, They really are tired of dating. They're going to tell you that. They're going to share that with you, that they're absolutely bored with people who are out there just drinking, eating, having fun. They do have a good center of um, relationships around them. This person's very loving. They have very good friends. They have a good support system, but... What I'm seeing for you is Spirit is saying, go for this. Go for it. Four of Wands. Three marriage cards, Taurus. Who is this person that wants to marry you? Because if you haven't met them or you're early in the relationship now, you are on a journey. So you're taking it cool. You're cool, calm, and collected. You are enjoying romance for the time being. I'm really getting that feeling that you definitely want to know. If this person is going to be more than romantic and be more, here we go. There's your answer. You have the beautiful King of Wands energy, Leo energy. We have Venus and Mars and Leo right now. It speaks to the fact that you will, in the very near future, if you haven't had it pass or happen already, you are going to have uh, a new love life that is likely to culminate in a marriage. If you're dating somebody now and this resonates with you, you are definitely going to make a commitment. Your person wants a commitment. They don't, you know, they're not in the mood to just date and have fun. That is not the page that they're on. So Taurus, let's look and see what your ancestral message is for you at this time. Let's see what your ancestral message is. 
beautiful reading. Just lovely. Okay. So exchange energy to create abundance. Okay. So it really is all about being open with your person, you know, looking for that exchange of energy. Uh, creating, that's how you create legacy is what your ancestors are telling you. So let's see what the message is at a practical level from the Forest Oracle. Ancient Oak Spirit, strength, stay strong. And look at this, we have the strength card here. You are very strong in your feelings and convictions. Taurus, that is your reading. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.